don't know that we've covered this one before, right? Because it's just, it's not one of those things that insurance companies want to talk about. And that's what I love about you. You're transparent. You tell people what they need to know. Uh, and navigating that home insurance claims process. So s- stuff hit the fan, something happened. Now they need to file a claim. John, what's that process look like? Yeah. So, I mean, I'll give you a scenario. Let's example of a claim. Maybe you have a, a bad storm rolls through and, um, you know, it damaged your roof, causing leaks, or maybe we had a, a cold snap. And one of your pipes froze and burst. And now you got water leaking into your home. So if you have something like that, severe damage to your home, right? Uh, the the best thing you want to do first and foremost is if if you need to get authorities involved, right? Maybe there's a, a fire, worst case scenario, right? Mm-hmm. First thing you should do is call the authorities. So a lot of times people call the insurance company first, but you know, of course, like. If you have an actual emergency, call the authorities first. And and even, you know, if you have like water gushing through your ceiling, your m- first instinct might be to call an insurance company. But if you don't know how to shut off that water and secure that leak and prote- protect it from actually continuing to leak for the next several hours, first step is that. The next step of calling the insurance company, it you know, I, I am not going to, somebody from the insurance company isn't as much as you'd like them to come out right away. It can take a little bit of time, 24 to 48 hours, typically after you file a claim, which means you contact the insurance company after this has happened. And you've within, ideally within 24 hours of discovering the damage. So you do have some time here within that 24 hour period, provide your policy number, the date of the incident and a description of the damage, what happened to your insurance company and Ask them for guidance on any immediate actions that your policy requires, because some policies actually do have some language in there about the duties of the insured at the time of a claim. Here's one big thing. There might be some upfront costs. You might have to put on a credit card or pay cash to somebody to do some of these things up front. And I know that's not always feasible for everybody, but- the best you can, it, it is going to help you to have some emergency funds accessible immediately to do a little little bit. Now, you definitely don't want to start anything major until the insurance company comes out because you want the insurance company that the adjuster who comes out, again, 24 to 48 hours typically after your claim, you want them to be able to see what happened too. But if you waited weeks to file the claim and you've already had contractors come through your house fix it all up and it doesn't even look like it ever happened well the insurance company is going to have a tough time determining what exactly went on and all of that it's going to make the claim a little messier you want to give the adjuster the opportunity to really look at everything closely and say all right what was the full extent of this and they're going to then take a look at your policy what your coverages are they're going to look at the damage and they're going to come up with an estimate and that estimate usually with within uh, a few days to a week or two after they do their inspection, that um, actual report is going to show an estimate of what they think the cost of this is. Like what's what's the cost to make the repairs within the parameters of what your insurance policy covers. One thing that hangs people up a little bit on claims with home insurance is the difference between the ACV or cash value payment and something called recoverable depreciation. When an adjuster comes out and they make that estimate of what it will cost to repair your property or what the cost of the damages was, the initial amount is the cash value or ACV, which means the depreciated value of what was damaged. They're going to put that into the report, but they're also going to tack on depreciation because that stuff is not brand new. It's a little older. The initial check that goes out to you is only for the depreciated value. Hmm. And then... You work with your contractor to actually make the repairs and the cost of the repairs will obviously be replacement cost, which includes brand new materials. There's no depreciation in that valuation. Right. Make those repairs, work with the contractor on that, get the receipts and submit them back to the insurance company and adjuster. And at that time, the insurance company will re they'll actually inspect to make sure the work is done properly, but they'll reimburse you for the total cost to the uh, to the contractor, or they'll pay the contractor directly in some mm-hmm. cases for that 
difference in cost. You have the depreciated value, you have the actual replacement cost, there's re recoverable depreciation in between those two figures. That is gonna be a second payment made or sometimes third, fourth payments, depending on the extent of the claim and the amount of work being done to actually pay the total cost. Thank you.